So here's a really cool curtain style transition for PowerPoint that you should know how to do. If you'd like to know how to make that transition, watch this video and I'll show you how to do it. So to do this transition, um, what I've just set up in advance, I'm in PowerPoint and I've got two slides. I've got the slide before and then the slide that I want to reveal. So this slide I'm going to apply the transition to. So I'm going to go into transitions and I'm going to click on curtains. If it's not visible here, click on the drop down and you'll see all the different transitions which are available. So I'm going to click on curtains from here and it will show you how the transition will look. At the moment it's peeling back white curtains because it's using the previous slide as the curtain. So if I go back to slide number one, what I'm going to do on slide number one is insert an image of a pair of curtains. So insert pictures, online pictures and let's look for a nice red curtain. Let's go with that one there and let's insert that. And then I just need to stretch it out to make it fit the screen. You could look online for other images as always. And if you look on things like Pixabay um, and so on. But there's my image here. So if I run my show from the beginning and click, the curtains will peel back to reveal what's behind the curtain, which is a nice big reveal for the staff of the lesson or staff assembly or whatever. Uh, you can do some other fun stuff on here as well. So you could put a, a school logo on here. You could put some messages or some words on here. So I'm just going to take uh, a school logo. I'm just going to paste that onto the screen like so. Let's put that in the middle. There we go. Go in the design. I don't need that. Um, and again, if I do my slideshow from beginning, we now have the school badge. What's behind the curtain? We can then click and the curtain pulls back to reveal what's hiding behind the curtain there. So a nice, simple transition, which looks quite cool. Not particularly complicated to do. Obviously lots of different ways you could use that for revealing things at the start of a lesson, school assemblies and such like. Um, Again, always have a look through all these lots more transitions than there ever used to be. There are loads that are worth having a little play with if you haven't played with these before. Um, just click on them and see what they do. I'll do some more videos about the rest of these later on. So thank you for your time. I hope you found that video useful. As always, please hit like and subscribe to show your appreciation. I'll be back in the future with some more videos. Thanks so much again for your time. See you soon. Bye-bye.